Since it was the last memory sequence. Now that we know where the amulet is, we have to go get it. And bring it back and unlock that door. I know where the key is. Then let's go. There's Achilles tombstone. Of course. I mean, he was an old man and everything. And there it is. A little disappointed there's not really a mission for it, it or whatever. We're right behind you. But I have control first, so. First things first, I know we got more email messages. And this is going to be our last chance to check these. Way all the way down here. Our crane. I'm scared. What if we don't find the key? What if we do, but run out of time? What if whatever is down here doesn't work? I mean, what's changed? The first sieve tried to save themselves and failed, and this place is shut down and sealed up. Doesn't really feel like the sort of place we're going to find the answers to all our problems. Doesn't help that the people who brought us here are missing. I'm just worried this isn't going to work. I don't want to die. From Juno. Apology. Forgive my outbursts. It has been a long time. I have been alone in this place for too long. Waiting. Hoping. Soon you will see all I have promised. Only hurry and find the key. Restore power to this place. From Sean. Good news, bad news. Which would you like first? William. Not really the time for this. From Sean. Okay, okay, sorry. So much for injecting a little pre-Christmas cheer into these, these otherwise dour proceedings. The good news is that, as far as I can tell, the I, Abstergo launch, has been postponed permanently. With Vidic dead, thanks to dear Desmond, and the Apple of Eden still safely in our possession, there's no way they'll make their date. I suppose there's always a chance they'll manage to retrieve another Apple and start the whole process over, but all of our intel says that they've got no leads. We're safe from that particular threat, at least for now. The bad news is that we've got less than 48 hours to open the temple doors. Whatever's meant to happen on the 21st, and it's likely a whole lot worse than I Abstergo, I think we'd all like very much to ensure it doesn't. Okay. What are we waiting for? They're just taking their old, good old time. Let's just run up here and get this over with. Moment of truth. Mm hmm. See whether or not the amulet opens the door. does I think well, I, I mean I know it does but it's taking a bit longer than I thought it would there we go now we can walk through and across the bridge What is it that's in here? Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? 
You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. Okay, then do so. We worked to save the world. She sought instead to conquer it. She used our machine to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries. And so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination you will inspire them to rebuild to thrive once more and as the world heals so too will humanity but you are just a man frail and mortal you pass from the world leaving behind only a memory a legacy you will be remembered first as a hero later as a legend and in time as a god it is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? But what happens if we touch the pedestal? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There's no time. There isn't time. See? 
Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Desmond dies. It's some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest on record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier level. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's events. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. You might be wondering, how, if Desmond dies at the end of Assassin's Creed 3, how is there an Assassin's Creed 4? Well, the answer is, in the modern world portion of that, you don't play as Desmond, you play as somebody else entirely. And no idea about uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue or uh, Unity yet, considering that they're not out as of this recording, but it'll be something similar to that, probably. So yeah, that is the end of the main story for Assassin's Creed 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stick around after the credits because we still have more stuff to do uh, with the, the core game uh, before we start in on the tyranny of King Washington stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys in a moment then, I guess. Well, a few minutes rather.